Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. So last video, I just did some diaries and other stuff to mainly clear out my bank and kind of just, just like some quality of life things, you know? And now today I'm gonna be training Herblore. I made nearly all of my herbs into unfinished potions since I now have the Desert Heart Diary done and so I could do that myself. Now I just need to collect secondaries because all of this should be enough to get me to 87 herb lore, which I need 86 to be able to boost with a botanical pie to make super combats. Although 87 would be nice because then I don't have to worry quite as much about my boost running out. Mudkip left me some secondaries and some GP to be able to crush the bird nests. So I'm gonna do that. First, I'm just gonna buy as many amylase packs as I can. I have a decent amount of amylase now. I only need 92 potato cactus, so I'll just do a farm run because I've been kind of slacking on collecting potato cactus recently and I need to do a farm run anyways. I'm gonna need lots of volcanic ash for my Haralander potions to turn them into compost potions. It's just a pretty fast way to get a bit more Herblor XP, so it shouldn't take too long to get the amount that I need, but also of course I'm gonna get a little bit more because I want extra to make more ultra compost. Plus, you know, I've just been running a little bit low, so it couldn't hurt to get more. Okay, it's been about an hour, and I've gotten quite a bit of volcanic ash, so I guess now I'm gonna go collect red spider eggs. I'm gonna be buying sardines here in Relica, and then I'll just gather a few red spider eggs from like Varrock or something. Okay, this is the altar. Now I just gotta kill these spideens, and because I have the medium arty diary done, I get the red spider's eggs noted, and you can get anywhere from 3 to 6. So I got quite a bit of sardines, so hopefully it's enough. Oh, I got a red satchel. That's nice. I really like these satchels. They're so cute. So I'm glad I got this. Oh, and a tea flask. I have this shown in another video, but if you put tea in it and drink it, then it gives you like this different animation. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm done collecting red spider's eggs, so now I have pretty much everything that I'm able to get right now, besides Mortmire fungus, which, I don't know, it's just not fun collecting Mortmire fungus, so I'm gonna save that for later and I'll collect some if I need to. And of course, it's not really worth collecting Wines of Samurak, because you get them passively through Slayer and PVM. So I guess it's time to start actually training Herblore. Just going on a raid for the elite task in Corrind. Ooh, Root Knight Ore. And I got a dark relic that I'm using on prayer. Of course, shout out to the people who helped out. 84 Herblore. 85 Herblore. And there's 86 Herblore, so now I can actually boost to make super combats, but I still have plenty of unfinished potions and secondaries in my bank, so I think I can get to 87. And there's 87 Herblore. I just have 5 botanical pies. I'm not sure if that'll be enough, but I'll just use them up first. Time to make the first super combats. I have almost 300 torsals right now, so I think I can make quite a few super combats, as long as the pies last me a while. Okay, that's all the torsals I have so far. Of course I have more planted, so I'll be able to make some more later. And I also have one more botanical pie left, but almost 300 super combats. Mudkip still wants more super combats than that, so I think I'm gonna go collect some Golova Nova fruit tops from the fruit stalls in Hosidius. I'll just get like as many as I can in one inventory and then cook all of those into pies and keep planting torsals. 
I've just been planting the torsals in the protected herb patches, which there are three that I have access to. So basically I just do three every hour or so or whenever I do my farm runs. But at least that's already gotten me a lot because I think I started with only 11 torstals. I have 12 torstal seeds left but maybe Mudkip will get some more because he's doing Slayer right now as well as doing bosses like whenever he can it seems like. And he's gonna be doing Hydra soon so hopefully he'll get some more and be able to give them to me. Just giving Mudkip all of the super combats I currently have. Been at fruit stalls for a while and I think I have enough fruit tops for now. Now I just need to turn them all into pies. Just gonna use the bake pie spell so that I don't burn them and because it's faster I think. And I get some magic XP. I'm just getting my current favor up because I just have a couple of houses left and I'd like to do a kingdom divided on stream so maybe like the day after tomorrow because we have plans tomorrow although by the time you see this video I'll already have done it but anyways so I just really wanted to show you this because I've been like standing in this corner while digging up the sandworms and I noticed that there was like a yellow dot on the mini map up here and I looked and there's a goat named Billy and it says Billy is a bad goat what did he do to deserve that? He's just all alone on this little island. How bad was he? <laughs> Poor little goat. He's in baby jail. 100% Pisk favor didn't take that long. So now I just need to talk to this guy for the Architectural Alliance mini quest. And now on to Shazian. I guess I'm just gonna kill Lizardmen for a favor, but mostly so that I can get the Xerix Talisman because I don't have one yet. I'm sure it's pretty slow without a cannon, so maybe once I get a Xerix Talisman, as long as I don't go like super dry, I'll just go tackle organized crime instead and then do the Shazian armor stuff in between while I'm waiting. Okay, that didn't take too long. I do need to collect some things though as well, so I guess I'll stay here a bit longer. Uh, there's 90 HP and I think I have enough things now so I'm pretty much done. I got a second Xerix Talisman and when you dismantle them it turns into a hundred things. Now I have a lot. There's the last piece of the Shazian set 5 and of course now I have 100% Shazian favor so I'm gonna go finish up Architectural Alliance. Okay that's Architectural Alliance finally complete and I have this lamp that I'm just gonna put into prayer as usual. Ooh, so close to the level. Okay, sweet. So now I have Dragon Slayer 2 and a Kingdom Divided that I can do on stream whenever I feel like it. Actually, Mudkip and I are gonna do the Easter event. No talk me. I create. This is a very stylish hat. Yeah, it seems like something you'd wear. It seems like <laughs> some, it looks like something that your like great aunt would wear or something. And then I would wear it as Grandma Core. Oh my god, the Easter bunny's right behind me and it looks like I have bunny ears. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of super defenses and almost out of torstals and I don't have any torstal seeds left and picked all the ones planted so I guess I'm done for now so I'm just gonna give the rest of these super combats to Mudkip for him to use. Temple of the Eye complete. Land of the Goblins complete. Yeah, quest complete. Ooh, XP lamp. No way. The funny number. Okay, time to start Dragon Slayer 2. I did most of Dragon Slayer 2 on stream but saved the Galvec fight for later. I tend to get more nervous on stream and really didn't want to mess up the fight plus it was already like 9pm. I did a quick practice run on my main so I'm feeling a little confident. Okay let's do this.
My mic cut out, but you didn't miss much. My voice was probably shaky anyway. Rest in peace, Bob. Finally, I can enter the Myths Guild. If I talk to Primula here, I can learn how to make super anti-fire potions. I can get some extra XP from Ellen, just putting it all into magic. Nice, 82 magic. Of course, I have to buy a Myth Cape. And most importantly, another dog I can pet. Just one more thing, I can use my dig site pendant on this strange machine and be able to teleport straight to Lithgren. Okay, now I just have two quests left, which Mudkip and I are going to do together on stream. Okay, are you ready to start the quest? Yes, let's begin the pen ultimate quest. You're not an ultimate, you're a group Iron Man. Mommy? I mean, mom. Yes, I did it. Wait, wait, spoilers. Stop, stop. Yes, you did it. <laughs> yeah, quest complete. So we'll be praying uh, Mage and Piety. Let me go in, and basically, after you spec, we'll just both be whacking her with the whip. And then at 66% and 33%, she'll send out the Okay, ready? We put up first. Yeah. Okay. Nice, that was totally so easy. Yeah. All right, so just pre mage to be safe. And... Okay. I'm gonna drop the Dawnbringer over here for you. And you'll see the ball come out, that's when you can hit twice. Oh. And then run back, because she's about to spit a ball out. And you see the ball in the air, you can run out again and hit her. Okay, now you can go back to the lane. Just don't get caught on the web, otherwise... Oh, I did. <laughs> uh oh. The prey mage, because she's... Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got you with the hard carry. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, totally easy. Yay, quest complete. Here it is. The last quest yeah. is completed. No more quests. Well, until like next week when they add it. Yeah. 99k. Okay, we have to like one tick them at the same time, like equip them at the same okay. time. Okay, ready? Three two one click oh that was so <laughs> sick yeah <laughs> okay now let's one tick the emote okay, okay. three two one click oh, oh just barely well, off. needless to say the yeah. goal that we set out since the start of the account getting the quest cape is finally complete on the group iron man I'll do the diary. Oh, oh yeah, the diary task. Isn't it like inside here? Oh yeah, diary task. Diary yep. task before the new quest comes out. Yeah. Yes. Now that I have quest cape, well actually a new quest just came out recently, but anyways, I get a lot more tears and I got a lot more XP that time. So Beneath Cursed Sands just came out, so I actually don't have my quest cape anymore, but I'm planning on doing the quest 
probably today. Of course, I'll already have done it by the time this video comes out, but it is kind of funny that we got our quest capes like right before this new quest came out, but I also have a lot of mini quests that I need to do at some point anyway, so I'll just save that for next video, I guess. So here are my stats. Here's my character summary tab. Nice total XP. I hope you all enjoyed this video, but by the way, if you want like the full experience of me like doing quests on stream and stuff, then feel free to follow my Twitch. The link is in the description. I'll try to keep putting clips in my video from my stream, but it's just a little bit hard sometimes, so I don't include everything. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to do your Tears of Gufflix weekly. And and I'll see you all next video. Goodbye lovelies.